Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good evening. How are you tonight? Good. 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 How are you tonight? Good. 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 Everything right. That's good. Okay, welcome to one more class. Let's remember that yesterday we saw thank about you. To, thank you. We saw about some demonstratives, right? You remember this class? We saw the demonstratives. We also saw about this exercise. Yes. Do you remember this one? Recuerdan este ejercicio? Yes. 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 Do you remember this? Yes. Okay. So, did you do the exercise? Yes. 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 You did it. Okay. So let's check here about this one. We completed <laughs> this exercise. And this one, did you do it? Is it on this exercise? Yes. On, on the platform? Yes. Okay. Then we're yes, going to continue. Yes, Blanca. Eh, solo, solo una cosa. Eh, yo le había comentado a usted que yo, este, a mí sí me cuesta bastante, pero este día me puse a hacer una, una tarea que es este dentro del adelante atrás mm -hmm. oh, next next two positions yes ajá este mm -hmm. pero hay unas que sí me daba el chequecito verde y hay otras que yo es mm -hmm. lo volví a repetir y lo volví a repetir y no hay unas que no no, le no pueden mm -hmm. ajá sí okay. pero sí me iba basando sobre el, el ejemplo pero mm -hmm. yo lo escribía por lo menos la primera pregunta eh, de que dice que la, este, el libro estaba dentro del adentro del del, del backpack, backpack. Mm, yes. entonces yo le daba pero sí créame que no me parecía sí. no se preocupen acuérdense que no han visto todas las prepositions of place de hecho ahora vamos a ver las demás ayer vieron nada más unas básicas y ahora vamos a ver el resto ah ok, okay. la van a tener ya más claro ok Ariel, Alexandra, yes. Justamente lo mismo que la compañera estaba preguntando, quería hacerle yo la pregunta. Ajá. Y referente con la última pregunta también, con la de la de Six, la de Phone. About the phone. Ajá. Mm -hmm. También so, tuve ahora, problema en ese. With the preposition, right? With the telephone numbers. Sí, exactamente Ajá. ese. En esas dos, uh -huh. en esas dos preguntas son las que tengo problema para contestarlas. Okay. Porque no le logro entender muy bien. Pueden escucharlo las veces que ustedes quieran. Sí, justamente uh -huh. eso he estado haciendo, teacher, pero créame de que me cuesta todavía y no le he logrado <risa> completar. <risa> Yo también lo he repetido y le he repetido. Ajá. Pero no se preocupen, siempre vamos Creo a practicar. Creo que todos estamos más. igual, eh, teacher, en, en el listening, eh, como que nos hace falta mucho preparar yes. nuestro auditivo. Mm -hmm. Yes, remember that we are in the basic form. Estamos ahorita en, en inicio, ¿verdad? Entonces esto se va a ir puliendo poco a poco. Esto pues los ejercicios van viendo, eh, siendo una práctica, un refuerzo para ustedes. Pero igual bueno, vamos a ir poniendo más ejercicios, más prácticas. Sí. Yeah. Okay. No te preocupes. Any other question? Yes, Blanca? Todo bien, ahorita. Yes? Okay, so we yes. continue here. Now we're going to see, uh, to remember about the use of this and that. Remember yesterday we practiced that. Estuvimos practicando ayer de that, de this, this, and those. So it says, is that your calculator? 
Remember that this one is near or far? Far. far. It's far, right? Yeah, that's correct. It's far. It's a long distance. Correct. It's singular or plural? Singular. singular. Perfect. It's singular. Correct. Now, uh, if we answer to the question, how will it be? ¿Cómo sería si le respondemos? It says, is that your calculator? Yes. Yes. What is else? Yes. yes. It is. Yes. It is. It is. Aha, uh -huh. that's correct. What about the next one? Is this your backpack? Suppose that is negative. Suppose que negativa. No. No, it is. No. Negative. No, it. Isn't. Okay. Isn't. Perfect. That's good. Yes. Aquí tenemos que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Con el apóstrofe, porque hay otras que son nada más como comitas y si hay un errorcito en la plataforma ya no las, nos las toma como error. Pero al escribir se puede también it is no, it is not. Yeah, you can say. Uh -huh. It's correct. You can say no, it isn't. No, it's not. No or not. Right? But contraction. Siempre cuando se haga una contracción, cuando es la nega, eh, una respuesta negativa, lo correcto es ponerle en una contracción, ya sea no it isn't, pero también puede ser no it's not. It's not. Ambas formas es, son correctas. Ahora, cuando es afirmativa, si no es correcto, utilizar una contracción. Por ejemplo, acá, yes, it's incorrect. Tiene que ser de manera completa. Now, this is singular form. Let's check the plural. In the plural, remember that they are different. You have, are this Tom's pencils? And you have affirmative. Blanca? Can you repeat it, please? Are these Tom's pencils? Are these Tom's pencils? Are this? Are this Tom's pencils? Are are this Tom's pencil? Good. Affirmative. Yes. Yes. Yes, they are. They yes. are. They Así. are correct. That's good. Yes, they are. Negative. No. no. They. Aren't. Aren't. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Rafael, now repeat the next question. Is that my desk? Is that my desk? Mm -hmm. That's good. Answer, please. Affirmative. Okay. Yes, it is. Excellent. Negative? Okay. No, it isn't. That's correct. Thank you. Good. Okay. Let's check the next one. Blanca, do you have a question? Pregunta? No? No. No, no. 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 Okay. Okay, let's check the next part. Let's practice it. How do you complete this one? Here. Is this your phone? Calculator. Calculator. That's correct. Good one. Is this your calculator? Let's write it here. Calculator. This is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Excellent. Is the object is near or far? Near. near. Yeah. Near, perfect, Near. that's good. Very good. Let's see the next one. Nevi, Nevi, Solina. Complete, please. Are this? Eraser. Are this? Is singular or plural? Are you erase? Erasers, that's plural. correct. We have plural case, correct. So let's write erasers. Erasers. Are this your erasers? Let's see the affirmative. Gabriela Abigail. Affirmative answer? Yes, they are. Excellent. Negative. Brian Renee? 
No, they aren't. That's correct. Good one. Okay, so we have, in this case, we have this that is plural, and this is singular, right? Now, in the case of this, is near or far? Near. It's near, correct. The elements are near. Now, let's do a practice here. We're going to ask with some other elements. For example, if I ask you, uh, Gabriel Abigail. Let me see. Can you see it? Can you see the cell phone? Puede ver el celular? Sí. Yes. yes. Is this your cell phone? No, it is not. Excellent. That's good. Okay, now, Gabriela, you're going to ask Sandra Guadalupe. Muéstrale un objeto y hágale la pregunta. Is this your pencil? Excellent. Pencil. 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 Nice. No, no, it's no, it's not. No, it's not. Very good job. Nice. Okay, let's see. Blanca, you formulate a question to Sachin. It could be. Let's suppose that is affirmative. Supongamos que sí es suyo para responder afirmativo y practicar. Is this así? Is this your um, is that a lipstick? Es un labial, lipstick. verdad? Lipstick. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay. Is this your is lipstick? This, is this your lipstick? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's very good. Nice. Okay. Now let's see Juan Alberto. You're going to formulate the question to Maria Emilia. Now I'll use the plural, please. Utiliza la de los plurales. This. En plural. Ajá. ¿Qué no voy a preguntar? Are this? Yeah, you're going to ask uh, Maria Emilia. Maria Emilia. Mm -hmm. Le voy a formular la pregunta para varios objetos. Exactly. No necesariamente varios, puede okay. ser más de uno, de dos en adelante. Okay. Muéstrale unos objetos que tenga por ahí. Maybe books, pencils, pens. Okay. Maria Emilia. Mm -hmm. Are these. Show are them. these your Where's cell it? phone Show. and dictionary? Ah, okay. Are these your cell phone and dictionary? Good. No, they aren't. aren't. No, they aren't. Very good job. Nice. Okay, now let's see. Fernando, you're going to ask Rebecca Vanessa with the plural. Are these your markets? Are these your markers? Okay. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. That's very good. Okay. We have the practice here. Now, we are going to go to formulate more questions. Vamos a ir a formular más preguntas. Okay. In the case of this one, we can check that we can formulate questions in different manners. It depends what you want to investigate. In English, hay diferentes WH words con las que podemos investigar diferentes cosas. Dependiendo de lo que quieras saber, así va a ser la WH words. The most basic one is what. La más básica es what. What it means que, que o cual. Like when they ask you, what is your favorite color? What is your name? Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. So you say, ah, who? What is who? What investigates who? Okay. Yeah. 
Yay, yeah. perfect. So investigates person, right? Excellent. What about why? Porque. Porque. Ajá, de investigarlo, right? Porque, de razón. Because. So this one is to formulate the question. How? Como. Como, ajá. Huh? Investiga manera. Like, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Correct. And where? Donde. 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 Investigates Donde. areas, places. Correct. Which? Cual. Cual. Perfect. That is a specific thing. Correct. And when? Cuando. Cuando. Correct. That's very good. Okay. Now, let's check the part. We are going to put emphasis. Vamos a enfocar ahorita para practicar el caso de where con el verb to be. So we have questions with where plus B. Una pregunta. Yes. Eh, what, ¿qué dijo? ¿Qué significaba? ¿Qué? ¿Puedo ser utilizado como qué o cuál? ¿Qué? ¿Y ¿Qué? 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 Persona. Okay. okay, gracias. You're welcome. Okay, we are going to continue here. What Now. does which? Which, which means cuál. Investiga algo en específico. For example, if they ask you, which is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is los cebollines, eh, pizza hat, eh, pollo campero. So it's a specific thing. Now, here we have another example, but with where. Where's the book? Where's the book? It says, it's on the chair. This is a contraction of where is. Let's write it here. You can make a contraction. This is the complete form. Where is the book? Where is? Look at that we have the verb to be after the WH. Where is? And then you have the complement. And the answer is on the chair. But we have another contraction that is correct too. Now, let's put the answer. So where is the book? It says it's. It's on the chair. What is on? Encima. En. Ajá, en. sobre de. On lo vamos a utilizar so, para una superficie okay. plana, como on the table, on the desk, on the floor, en el piso, o on the grass, sobre el césped. So that is on. Now we have another case here. We have, where is the money? Tell me, what is the money? Dentro. Uh -huh. How do you say dentro de in English? In. In, correct. And as in singular or plural? Um, well, it's, plural. It's, it's in mm. the, aha, uh -huh, correct. It's in the wallet. Okay. Aquí tenemos que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Porque este es un apóstrofe, el cual se parece a otros símbolos. Entonces, si en la plataforma le damos otro símbolo que es bien parecido a ese, nos va a dar error. Now, it's in the wallet. This is a contraction. So, the contraction is, in a complete manner, you can say it is. It's two forms, is correct. Y en the wallet. Okay, so the two forms are correct. Las dos formas son correctas. Solo que una es está contractado y la otra está de manera completa. Se puede decir cualquiera de las dos mismas. Cualquiera de las dos se puede. La contracción hace más fluido la conversación. Uh -huh. Y es más práctico, de hecho. 
It's in the wallet. Practico dice, it is in the wallet. Pero ambas son correctas. Now, tell me about this. This one is plural, right? Because you have keys. Where are the keys? Kenya, where are the keys? On um, a um, table. It's or there? They are on the table. There, oh. that's correct. You can say they are, de manera completa, they are on the table. Or there, as a contraction, on the table. And the two forms are correct. Contractada sería there. There, uh -huh, there. Básicamente se elimina nada más la A. Se elimina y se pone junto con el verb to be. It's there, there. All right, let's repeat it. Juan Alberto, I need you to repeat this one. Where's the book? Repeat. Where's the book? Excellent. Fernando, repeat the answer. It's on the chair. It's on the chair. It's on the chair. Thank you. Maria Emilia, repeat. Where is the money? Where is the where is the money? Excellent. Let's see. Ariel Alexandra, repeat. It's in the wallet. It's in the wallet. Mm -hmm. Or it is in the wallet. It is in the wallet. Very good. That's nice. Let's see. Sandra Margarita, repeat the question. Where are the keys? Where are the keys? Can you repeat, please? Where are the keys? Se escucha como un eco, ¿verdad? All right, answer. Ada Lisette, answer please. They are on the table. They are on the table. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now the next one. Or they are on the table, right? You can also have a contraction. Questions? Do you have questions? Preguntas? No, no. No questions? Okay, let's start here. Now, the next part is that we have to watch the video and we're going to listen to it. All right, this part. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no. Can you hear it? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Thank you. Yes. Me ayuda con los micrófonos mientras el video está para que se escuche bien. Thank you and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. 
So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be, in this case happens to be is, and then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then of course we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys. Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone? Question mark at the end. Are these your things? In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with yes, it is. No, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are. No, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why, are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Now you check the video. Now you put more emphasis on the questions, right? With where, where is, or is this your wallet? Or we have singular and also we have plural, right? Now, you saw that but now with different prepositions of place. As we know, prepositions of place, they help to know the position of different elements. It can be an animal, it can be things, it can be also persons, even. Now let's check this one. It says in front of. What is in front of? Enfrente. Excellent. That's good. Behind? Uh, atrás. That's good. Above? Arriba. 
sobre, sobre. arriba, ajá, pero no, no sobre, no encima de, sino arriba. Si nos fijamos aquí el gatito, está flotando, right? Right? Okay. So it's, it's above. Good. What about Mi being swing? Arriba. Ajá, correct. It's like when you put a clock, como cuando ponemos un reloj. Pero, pero en el video decía sobre. Ajá. Sí, sí verdad. Arriba de, pero no eh, encima de algo. Encima de algo, mm. yo sería justamente en la superficie. En no, este okay. caso sería on. Es on. Ajá, uh -huh. es este, justo encima de, sobre de. Cuando, arriba. Ajá. Por ejemplo, cuando ponemos un, un reloj y en la parte de abajo uno tiene eh, la juguetera y tiene la tele, pero el reloj no está justo encima de, de la tele. Okay, so we have the case. This one is between. What is between? Entre, en ajá, medio. entre medio de, ajá, ajá. correct. On, we have on. What's on? Arriba. Sobre. Ajá, sobre. Is sobre, right? Eso sí es justo encima de la superficie plana. Uh -huh. Now we have under. What's under? Abajo. Abajo de, ajá, uh -huh, that's correct. Okay, what about this one? In. En. 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 Correct. <laughs> Near. Near es cerca. Cerca, yeah. puede ser close to. Beside, what's beside? Junto a, o a la par de, a la par de, junto a, correct. Okay, we're going to take some minutes to do the list, guys. We're going to check the list. <coughs> I'm going to mention your name. Tell me if you are present. Aaron Alberto? Is present? Present. Thank you. Ana Lisette? Present. Alejandra Mag uh, Margarita? Alejandra Margarita? No? Right? Ariel Alexandra? Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Brian. Brian René. Present. Thank you. Douglas. Douglas Heriberto. Douglas. Is not present. Okay, then we have Elmer. Elmer and Nilsson. Present. Thank you. Fernando de Jesus. Present. Thank you very much. Then we have uh, Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn? No. Then we have Juan Alberto. Present. Thank you. Kenya Vanessa. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, María Emilia. Present. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol. No present. Nevi Solina. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Rafael. Is there present? Present. All right, good. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Thank you so much. Sandra Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Sochi Yamilet. Present. Great, thanks. And Judy Edith. Judy? Judy Edith? Is not present? Present. Perdón, tenía problemas aquí con él. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's go on. Now let's continue here. So we have with our prepositions of place here. Let's go ahead with the next examples. Have another cases here. 
It says behind. Okay, this one is behind. What is behind? We are going to uh, concentrate on the dog. Atrás de. Atrás de el perrito, the dog. Excellent. Behind. Yeah, correct. In front of. What is in front of? Enfrente. Delante. Perfect. That's good. Next to. A la par. A la par, junto a. That's good. And beside is the same. They are synonyms. You can say next to or beside. Between. What's between? Entre. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Now we have near and close to. That means cerca. cerca. You can have two manners. Near or close to. Then we have above and over. Above. Arriba. And over. Uh -huh. Arriba. Si nos fijamos acá, está arriba. Pero no está tocando exactamente, ¿verdad? Right. Okay, above. now let's check here. Uh -huh. Above. Now, the next one is below. Below or under? Abajo. Abajo. Uh -huh. That's correct. In? Encima. En. En. Sobre. En. Yeah, so, in this case, look at, we have a difference here. In the case of the bed, in el caso de la cama, yeah. hay una diferencia. Podemos decir on, on the bed, pero también in the bed. Cuando decimos on the bed, es cuando nada más estamos sobre la cama. Pero si decimos in the bed, es porque nos hemos echado las sábanas encima. Dentro. That is in. Uh -huh. Esa es la diferencia. That's the difference. In the bed, si nos fijamos aquí, el perrito está todo cobijado. For that reason, it says in the bed. Now, on. What is on? The dog is on the table. Sobre. 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 Ajá, porque eso sí está justo sobre la mesa. La está tocando. Sobre una superficie flat. Okay, let's erase this. Okay, then we have um, alguien está marcando. Okay, we have here. Lily. No está llamando. The next part. Okay, we have this one. Okay, we have prepositions of place. Now, let's do an exercise. Let's do a practice. Tell me, Ada, Ada Lisette. Where is the girl? ¿Dónde está la chica? Where is the girl? Uh, under or below? It can be. <clears throat> Below or under? Go right under the? Under the table. The table. Excellent. That's good. Ariel Alexandra, where is the cat? Ariel Alexandra? Uh, in. <laughs> no lo puedo pronunciar, teacher. In. It's in. In. Uh, in the back. In the back. In the bag. All right. That is good. Okay, let me check here. All right, now let's check. Elmer? Elmer and Nilsson. Nevi? Nevi, tell us where is the bee? Where is the bee? Where? Where is the bee? Uh, the bee. La vejita. En medio, ven, ven. Between, between. Between. That's good. So you say it's between. The bottles. It's between the bottles. That's good. Okay, now let's see where is the the owl. 
Sandra Margarita, where is the owl? It's on, on the table. On the table, very good, that's nice. Rafael, where is the apple? Um, in front of the, the box. It's in front of the box, that's correct, good one. Rebecca, Vanessa, now tell me, where is the mouse? It's behind of the box. Behind the box. Behind the box. Mm -hmm. Repeat it, please. It's behind the box. It's behind the box. Excellent. That's correct. Okay. Now, let's say another one here. This one is, it looks like a tiger, right? Parece un tigre. Maybe a baby tiger. Tell me, where is the yarn ball? Let me tell you here. A yarn ball is this one. Una bola de lana. A yarn ball. Let's see, Brian. Brian, where is the tiger? Um, be, beside it's uh, beside the, it's beside of uh, ball uh, the jar ball uh -huh, the jar, jar ball, ball. That's uh -huh. cool so you can say it's beside the jar ball ya el, el oso uh, no lo necesitamos uh -huh. Uh -huh. beside or you can say also next to next to or beside it's correct okay the two points Okay, let's check another thing here. Now we have a video. Let's see about our video. Una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Este, hasta qué, hasta cuál van a calificar, este, eh, porque creo que este sería la lección 1 y 2, pero no sé, no sé hasta cuál. Hasta la 2.12, porque 2. Ese, ya es el último, ajá, ese es el último ejercicio ya de, de esa sesión. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Sí? Hay, que hay unos que solo son objetivos, solo menciona objetivos, solo donde les dice check y les pone un ejercicio, esos son los que desarrollan. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Le estaba viendo de que a usted todos los cositos, <coughs> perdón, se le ponen verdes y a mí los videos no. ¿Los videos? ¿Cómo, cómo? ¿No le aparecen los videos? No, sí lo veo, pero no me aparece el check como verde, como, no sé. ¿En el ejercicio? Ajá, a los exámenes sí, sí, sí me aparece, pero a los videos no. Y veo que a usted sí, pero no sé. En los videos. Aquí arriba, 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 arriba. Ahí, ahí, en esta, ajá, ah, en no, esta no. cosita. No, lo que pasa es que este tiene un chequecito porque son las cosas que se van viendo. Ah, uh, yeah. videos que si ya lo, ya lo vimos, entonces ya tiene chequecito. Uh -huh. uh, a mí no, 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 verificado. no les aparece, uh, ¿verdad? A mí, a mí aquí sí a me mí aparece, no. pero son porque uh -huh. yo ya los, ya los vi todos. Ajá, uh -huh. es que yo, uh -huh. yo, lo, yo ya lo vi, y, pero no me aparecía así, por eso dije yo quizás no me lo califican. <risa> no, no, no. <risa> eh, también tengo una consulta. Yes, tell me. Cuando nos aparece la ponderación, eh, por ejemplo, 25 a 25, que es la ponderación, por ende ya está subido y calificado. Fíjese que yo estaba consultando acerca de eso y me dijeron... Porque nos que... aparece enviar, 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 pero no Ajá. nos aparece. Ya se envió. 
ustedes pueden, digamos, si se equivocan en una de las partes y si les aparece incorrecto, lo pueden volver a hacer. Y cada vez que vuelvan a realizar el ejercicio, les va a ir cambiando la, la calificación. Como les mencionaba en el mensaje, eso se les va a ir cambiando la nota. Pero en el, men en el menú les bien. aparece, en el menú les aparece donde dice eh, clases y todo eso. Si usted se fija, al final le aparece que, que usted ha realizado las actividades. Cuando uh -huh. ya se complementa, digamos que el número uno, le sale un chequecito a la parte. Uh -huh. Ahí le sale, ya verificando uh -huh. que ya realizó la, la actividad. Ya realizó Ahora, la actividad. Si quiere volver y volverla a hacer, también se la toma en cuenta. Pero en el caso que le comenté, nomás empezamos, este, este, que no logran estar positiva todas las respuestas, en ese caso. Esa se puede volver a hacer, intentó. Volver sí, a hacer yo ahora, estuve, ahora estuve toda la tarde prácticamente intentando, intentando, Ajá. solo tengo como tres o cuatro buenas de ahí, las demás nada. Intente de nuevo después de la clase porque pues no habían visto todas las preposiciones del lugar, solo habían visto una, las más comunes, habían visto otras. Ajá, eso, eso creo Ajá. que es. Uh -huh. Porque como ahí ya en este ejercicio ya les aparecen ya todas, todas estas, ¿ves? in, in front of, behind, all, next to, under. Por eso es necesario que ver estas. No, es que en el video que está ahí en, en la plataforma, por lo menos no está entre ni cerca de, no está. Entonces, sí, es que, quizá una de esas. ¿eh? Ajá, es que no todas, solo le va a aparecer ahí las que aparecen aquí en la plataforma. Solo esas van a tomar en cuenta, pero les que les aparece un audio, ¿verdad? También. Sí. Ajá, cabal, como hay que escuchar el audio. Ajá, es eso. Para corroborar si le hemos hecho correcto. Esta, ¿verdad? Sí, al final, ah, al final es como, ajá, el audio es como para corroborar si están correctas las que hemos escrito. Uh -huh. Correcto, por eso acá les aparece la imagen y de ahí usted tiene que escucharlo para corroborarla, a ver si es correcto. Por ejemplo, acá, number one, the books are, what is the correct? What is the preposition that is correct? Are they all next to in? In, in. Yeah. excellent. So you need to write in. in. Y así, de igual. O pueden escucharlo también antes. No, este. no, pero sí, se tiene no que poner más. Porque por lo menos en la dos, yo solo la dos tengo buena porque solo me he equivocado en todas. Tiene que poner lo que le dicen el audio a uno, por lo menos el en la dos dice The DVD player is next to television. Todo eso se tiene que Ajá. poner, no solo sí. es el link. Ajá. Pero por lo menos en mi caso yo estaba, hoy, estaba escuchando y todavía le llamé a mi esposo que sabía un poquito, no sabe mucho, pero él también intentó porque es the book are in the, este, estaba, in la the cosa que, ajá, pero lo escribimos y lo escribimos y no, no me dio, no nos mm. dio. Igual el último ejercicio también. Ok. So, for example, if you put in the backpack, you need to complete it. Hay que completarlo acá. What about the sí, DVD, que... DVD player is? Next to television. Ah, next to the television. So, let's check, let's check. Just like a, to prove, para probar acá. Pero así como ha puesto la primera, no la agarra. Complete no, no la agarra. No, no se la agarra. Tal vez hay no, un punto. No. Tal vez hay un punto. O oh, el espacio, también el espaciado. Es que es bien específico, es bien detallista con eso. Así la estaba haciendo el otro día hasta que a, a, a Abigail me, me ayudó con el iris. Yo se lo ponía, no lo ponía como la apóstrofe, sino que lo ponía como junto. Y, como dos horas haciendo eso. <ríe> Ok, let's check it. Verifiquemos lo que a ver qué tal sale acá. Por cierto, aprovecho para decirle a Abigail, gracias. Bueno. Complete these sentences. 
Then listen and check your answers. 1. The books are in the book bag. Okay. 2. Look, this one it says book bag. This is another case. Es una bolsa que es solo para libros. So it can be book bag. También lo puse así, pack. nada. ¿Puedo ir like that? No, no me sale. Let's try with this. Siempre sale un rojo. Let's check. You can go here also. Se pueden ir acá también. Pero eso solo sale cuando ya están todas resueltas, la cuando terminado. ya lo he enviado. Ah, sí. Ok. Sí, porque antes me aparecía aquí, pero no. No, yo le iba dando una por una. <risa> Look here in the book bag. Ok. So you can have also book bag. That they are synonyms also you can use. O oh, in the book bag. Uh -huh. So you have a lot of options here. Hay varias opciones aquí, de hecho. In the book bag o in the book bag. Y esas opciones de sistema bag, las aceptaría. Tendría que aceptárselo porque les está dando todas estas opciones. Las sugerencias. Okay. Sí, Ajá. ahorita sí, así como está ahí, sí, ya lo agarra. Ajá, sí, aquí tendría que agarrar. Now, let's check the next one. The DVD player is next to the television. Next to the television. Three. So now I see next to the television. Next to the television. The television. So next to the television. Or next to the TV. That is correct. So in that manner. Probably así, escuchándolo. Para ir, a, para ir adecuando primero el oído, porque esa es la idea okay. principal, ir adoptando el, el oído también, irlo acostumbrando. The map. Can listen. The map is, is under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. Yes. Teacher, entonces yo creo que me, no sé si me salía mal porque yo le ponía next to TV. Next to the, the TV. Ah, ajá, el look no está, no está junto a. Aquí podría ser que está cerca, pero no junto a, junto a sería acá, el CD player, el DVD player. So you can check it in that manner. Prueben así y vemos mañana. Okay. Ahora, okay. Que ya vi, ahora que ya vimos las demás prepositions of play, porque como no las habían visto todas también. So we check this one, right? Entonces terminando esta tarea es donde ya termina el, el, la sección 1 y 2. Nos falta todavía sí. acá. Llega hasta 2.12. Ajá. Ay, sí, cierto, cierto. Ajá. Ajá, it's missing. Todavía nos falta un poquito más. That we finish tomorrow. Que lo finalizamos mañana. So let's see. We have this one about prepositions of plates. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys 
are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so there we have the arrest, right, of all of those, the prepositions of place. Now I'm going to, let's see, let's check with another practice here. We'll read this one. We're going to read it to remember more. Kenya, Vanessa, read the sentence, please. The dog. Mm, the dog hard behind the postman. The postman, excellent. Good one. Sandra Guadalupe, in front of. Sandra? Sandra Guadalupe? Perdón, perdón. <laughs> the dog is in front of the man. That's correct. Nice. Thank you. Blanca, continue. Next to Andy, Andy Sainz. Uh, the dog is next to Así? the dog. The dog is next to the bonus. The bones. The bones. The bones. Good mm -hmm. one. Okay. The other option, the dog. The dog is best beside, beside the bonus. The right. bonus. The bonus. That's the correct. Bones. Very good. Yeah, let's continue with Rafael. Above or okay. over. Okay. The dog is above. Above the fire mm -hmm. hydrant. This is the fire mm -hmm. hydrant. This element. Uh -huh. right. That's right. Now the next one. And the other option, the blue dog. Okay. The blue dog is uh -huh. over the fire hydrant. 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 Yeah. Hydrant. That's correct. Thank you. That's good. All right. Let's continue, Hi, continue with Judy. Judy Edith. Near, close to. Do is near the book. That's excellent. The other option? The do is close, close to the book. That's correct. Nice one. Okay. Juan, Juan Alberto, between. The dog is is between. The now is the bone. The bone. The bone is between the two dogs. The two dogs. That's correct. Nice one. Okay. Let's see. Kenya. Kenya Vanessa. Used below or under. The fire. Yes. Hydrant. Uh -huh. Fire hydrant. Fire. 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 Hydrant. Mm -hmm. Hydrant is below the blue dog. Below the blue mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. What is the other option? The fire hydrant. Hydrant. Hydrant mm -hmm. is under. The blue dog. The blue dog. That's correct. Nice one. Okay, Fernando, continue. In. The dog is in the bed. In the bed. bed. In the bed. In the bed. There, there is, is. There is a. No sé cómo se dice. Thermometer. Thermometer. Yes. Uh -huh. in Thermometer. His mouth. In his mouth, correct. Okay, let's see, let's continue. Rebecca, on. The dog is on the table. It's on the table, excellent. Nevi, you're near and close to. Nevi, 
maybe <laughs> the dog is <laughs> the the dog is near to the book near the book near the book good what is the other option the dog on the the dog in close to the book is close to close to the, to book. the book that's correct good one okay now any question preguntas questions with prepositions of place no teacher no okay then we're going to continue tomorrow with this class eh, una pregunta este, yes, tell me. cuando por ejemplo aquí este Cuando es plural, siempre va a llevar ar. Y cuando exactly. es singular, va yes. a llevar is. Yes, ah, okay. that is correct. Yes, it's all the time. Singular is. On era sobre, ¿verdad, Miss? On. ¿Sí? Yes, this one. On. Sobre, sobre una superficie plana. On the table, on the floor, on the bed, on the desk. Any other question? No? Okay, I hope you have a very good night. Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Goodbye. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. Tomorrow. See you. Oh, okay. Tell me, sweet, 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 sweet.